What are students doing when they're in the breakout rooms? It's always been a problem in Zoom that we can't really track our students and sneak into the breakout room and see what they're actually up to. However, Zoom has introduced a way now of at least checking, are they on their camera? Are they screen sharing? Have they got their audio on? In this video, I'm gonna show you the setting that you need to change in Zoom, very, very simple. And then afterwards, I'm gonna show you exactly how the tracking works and what you can see. This is really, really useful for teachers and anyone doing training where you want to know what the students are actually doing. Really hope you like this video. And as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, Please comment on it and of course, join me on my YouTube channel. One last thing, people always ask me, how do I make my videos? I use Camtasia. If you are interested, you can go to the description and download it for free. You can also get a great discount if you buy the educational version and I've given you a code to get an extra 10% discount. You can also get a 10% discount on the commercial version. Finally, I've put down a six part complete course in how to use Camtasia and that course is completely free and it's description below as well. Let's get started. Now there is one setting that you need to change. It's very simple. It's literally one click of a button. Either if you have access to the actual internet account where you've got your Zoom account and go down to settings and then what you wanna do is click on in meeting advanced. And it's actually the first setting that will come up. So if you can't do this, tell the admin staff to do it for you. And then the button, the secret button that you wanna click is this one here, which is allow hosts to view statuses of participants in breakout rooms, screen sharing, reactions, etc. Now, just in case you don't realize, and at the same time, really good to point this out, but make sure that you've also got broadcast message to participants and broadcast voice to participants because you can also send a message and actually send a voice message to students when they're in breakout rooms as well. And I'll quickly show you that at the same time since it's the same setting. Okay, now I've only got one participant in the room. I've just logged in on another system, but this will easily demonstrate what you need to do. Let's imagine that I create some breakout rooms. So I put people into breakout rooms. So we're gonna to move Tom into another room. Tom's in his room. We're just waiting for Tom to join that room now. And what you're gonna notice is that I can see that Tom hasn't got his webcam on. Okay, and in fact, it's not even showing that he's got his audio on either. So let's see what happens when Tom connects his audio. So if he now suddenly decides to connect his audio, suddenly you'll notice that the audio button comes on and it shows that Tom is now speaking. Now, if you look also, you can now see that Tom is currently screen sharing. So I can see that Tom is screen sharing. He's got his microphone on, but he's obviously turned off his camera. Now, if you wanna know more about breakout rooms, I have got a great video on how you can actually share your screen into breakout rooms. So if you wanna share your PowerPoint slides or you wanna share a video or you wanna share an interactive whiteboard, you can actually do that. And if you don't know how to share into breakout rooms, then uh, there's a video that you can watch. It's on the screen now. I'm gonna show you something else you can do and we're gonna do this with Tom. That is, we can, if we click on broadcast, we have two options. We can click on message and we can just simply write a message, okay? And then broadcast that to Tom. But also we can send a voice message to Tom. We just click here, click on broadcast voice, just click, okay? And while you're, while you're doing that, it will come out. come out. And then if you click on stop, it will stop. So you can actually broadcast into the room. Just to do that again, click on the button. Now you're broadcasting, click again and it stops. Okay, really hope you liked that video. And if you did, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads more free content. At the top there, there's a special section on Zoom. And there's also a special section on using Camtasia if you wanted to learn more about the video technology that I used. Um, the other thing that I would suggest is make use of all the videos. They're all basically 
using technology in teaching and learning. You can sign up to my newsletter. You'll get updated with all the latest blog posts, the latest videos, the latest webinars that we run are often free and the online courses. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a free 14 part video course in using technology in teaching and learning. It really is free, it's completely free. And 90% of the technologies that I suggest are free as well. And if you do want to contact me about doing any training with your organization, you can contact me from the website. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I'll leave some more videos on the screen about using Zoom.